Hi guys, how are you? Mine this one, Titanium. Let's go back to 2018 um, uh, in uh, August, August 2nd. It's a year, year ago, right? And this is when everybody was fucking, you know, peeing their fucking pants that and stagflation is coming, inflation is coming, uh, and everything is, you know, rosy, and uh, it crossed. <clears throat> Sorry, it crossed the line. What is the line? The line is 3%. And interest rates, okay? Fed was raising rates, everybody was happy. So let's let's listen to what I said. Same thing with gold, same thing with oil. Uh, we'll look at them, but I just want to skip to the um, the noise now that has been once again created by the uh, 10-year treasury. Um, we knew that this was going to bounce down here. Uh, it wasn't a secret, so now that's exactly what it's doing. So. It still hasn't broken out of the structure, so you know don't uh, read too much into it until we, until we break a, you know the what 320 or something like that, and then it starts to take off. Then we can we can sink our teeth into it. But till then, it's still in this rising wedge. All right. So what was I saying? I'm saying that this is going to be a bearish structure, and you have to wait until this structure falls apart, okay, and then we can sink our teeth into it. That's what I said. Now, let's fast forward to today. There you go. There you go. All right. I don't know how many examples I must give. And believe me, uh, I would love to share this stuff for free. Right? But what happens is you get all these people that run out and they take my information and they they start, you know, making it, making pretend that it's theirs and they came up with the analysis when in fact they don't have a fucking clue as to what they're talking about. All right. So we are now at 1.86 and actually we went lower, but it, this has not, the market has not opened yet. It's 1.77. Um, and what happened to stagflation? What happened to it crossed the line? It crossed the line. You know, uh, interest rates are going much, much higher. The Fed is the monopolist. It sets interest rates where it went. What happened to that? What happened to all these MMT gurus that are going to tell you how shit is? Right? 100% wrong. I was right. The only one that got it right. All right, so let's continue with the clown show. Um, save the tape. Okay, this is the uh, the outlook for bonds, and uh, this was back on October third or whatever it was of 2018. Okay, and just to show you where um, where rates were. Let's see, where is it? Uh, October. October 18th, right here, right at the top. <laughs> Poor guy, <laughs> right at the, I, I'm telling you, it's the absolute fucking top, okay? Right here, this is the top in bond yields, okay? So, let's see what uh, he's going to tell you, all right? And let's see what actually happened. Well, you guys know what happened, right? There you go. So, let's see. Okay, let's play the tape. Save the tape. Hey, everybody, what's up? October 3rd, Wednesday. All right, 10-year Treasury yields approaching 315, 3.15%. Now, you know, if you've been following me for any length of time, this goes way back, I've been saying that bond yields are going to go up. And I've been saying that for one reason. And that reason is the Fed is raising interest rates. And so he said 3 15 rates are going higher okay you heard it very clearly i'll just play the rest of the video i told you many many times you do not buy bonds when the fed is raising interest rates the fed is the monopolist it's the price setter it has nothing to do with inflation it has nothing to do with growth it has nothing to do with the so-called bond vigilantes the fed is the monopolist it sets prices and it could set prices when i when i say prices i mean interest rates but of course that also affects general prices 
the Fed can set interest rates anywhere along the term structure. That means... It All right, so Fed is a monopolist. It sets the thing right at the absolute fucking top. This is what he's telling people. And how bad was it? <laughs> he was so fucking wrong that it's not even funny. And I was telling everybody, like I told you, that this was going to resolve to the downside. Okay? And, uh, you know, again... Save the tape. If it wants to set a 10-year yield, it could set a 10-year yield. If it wants to set a 30-year yield, it could set a 30-year yield. What the Fed uses as its policy rate is the Fed funds rate. But all rates along that curve uh, reflect the market expectation of Fed policy over that term. In other words, uh, the rate on a 10-year yield will reflect the outlook on Fed policy over a 10-year period. Now, if the Fed keeps saying we're going to raise and we're going to raise and we're going to raise, eventually the rates go up along the curve. And that's what's happening. And I Who's told you what easy? happened. We had all these cockamamie people on here talking about their trend lines and their charts. Yeah, you can make fun of me all you want, you faggot. But you know what the reality is? The reality is I was right, okay? Like I am always right. I'm the only one. <laughs> just, just kidding. All right, so let's listen to what he says here. Bond sales will resume. What's inter interesting, though, is that we are seeing bond yields start to creep back up a little bit today. They hit the 10-year hit 2.08. But as I have been saying, once those bond sales resume, once the Treasury gets the green light to go ahead and start selling bonds, that's it bond rally is over a large portion of the bond rally was caused by this artificial squeeze that was the result of the debt ceiling right artificial squeeze <laughs> so he's fucking bullish at fucking 3.15 and he's bullish now at 208 and what is the reality the reality is he's wrong once again okay 208 is right up here and Right now, we're at 207, right down here, okay? This is what you get for listening to fucking clowns, okay? Clowns. But mine, lucky this one, got it right again, and again, and again, and again. Am I always right? Absolutely not. I'm not. But I get it right more often than I get it wrong. And I've proven this time and time and time and time again. A 44% fucking loss in the interest rate. And if you would have listened to what he said the first time that, oh, yeah, you know, the Fed was going to tell you when to start selling bonds, which just happened, I don't know, four days ago, okay? <laughs> you would have shorted here, okay? You would have shorted uh, yields here. Or, I'm sorry, yeah. He would have shorted and, and he would have done what? Done this. And what is he telling you? And instead of shorting, following what he told you to do, he's saying, oh, wait, you know, the, the bond is going up now. I mean, the interest rate is going up and we're going to go higher. Doing the complete opposite of what he said. And you people sit there and you like him and you follow him. You know, I don't know. I don't know how much more I can uh, explain this to you. So <clears throat> enjoy getting your fucking asses whipped and being wrong every fucking time listening to Mike Mousy Boy Norman so that's it guys keep it honest take care bye bye